we are just trying to have example of template based form validation so what are the basic steps of template based form validation are as follows first of all you have to include forms module in your app.module.ts first step first step is to include forms module in your app.module.ts i think we already have forms module included in our application let us create a new component to try with this particular form validation write cmd ng generate component and now the component is uh, template t m p l a t template form 1 Tem t m p template form 1 so it will create a component now let us open that particular component and go to the ts file just copy the selector from here copy the selector from here and and go to the app.model.ts and what we have to do it is go here and then and go to the app.component.html remove everything and now one and only component that is invoked in app component is template form once we try to run this application you can see the template gets opened is template form 1 works now what we have to do let us create a form inside this particular uh, component so go to the html page and uh, remove everything form hash f please look what we are doing here ng form so here ng form is a directive and here ng form is a directive that contains the reference of our form so ng form here referring to our form and what is f here it is a user variable has f this is our variable we are trying to refer the form that is now handled by the angular itself so now the reference of form is stored inside f now the reference of form get stored inside f now click uh, go for a paragraph tag or create a div tag anything or you find so go here and put here name now input other thing is that is required for for, for the template based form validation is you have to assign name to particular field so let me to give it name as nm and then ng model it is again required that you have to take name as well as ng model first you have to assign name to your field again you have to assign ng model because ng model is a directive that is actually binding this particular text field with our form so go here and just and one one validation I am, I am giving here that is required what is this required i want that this field should be filled it, should, it cannot be empty and again i am going below it and i am creating a button and here what we are doing here we are uh, uh, going here and uh, clicking here side uh, login or anything you can write because we haven't created the complete form here and here we are trying to bind disabled disabled is a property and i want to do property binding over it so whenever we are using a square bracket it itself means we are doing property binding whenever we are using the uh, small bracket it means we are using the event binding and whenever we are using the square bracket as well as the small bracket it means we are doing the two-way data binding so disabled equal to i am putting here not f dot valid not f dot valid so it will be disabled up to the time when form is not valid so let us open your let us open your this and we can see here the button is disabled here but once we put something inside it the button get unable so what is the so what is the concept the concept is that simply first we have to we have to take the reference of form inside f or any variable then we have to take some field for taking any field name is required and ng model is required because with the help of ng model only we are trying to bind our text field with the form and then here we are doing property binding with our button so that until unless our form is not valid our button is not enabled it is able fine now let me do one thing let me do create name and again i am going to create a password so go here control c go here and paste it down and here i am taking the email but uh, 
here the name should be changed that em whatever you want to change you can put here now what is the beauty of this program is that whenever we are applying some click event we are trying to invoke some function and uh, for here let us invoke any function login function or or yeah login function see because this is not a, a real scenario that you are working on we are just trying to check how this is working login and go to the template or component or ts and create a function that you are calling from there login now how will get the form value the one challenge that we have is that i need so better to put here register because naming convention is not looking good name and email there is no password so there is no there should be no login name there so grammatically it is not an error but it is by through it is it is not good so i have this html and i am going to call it register method now i want to print my form data inside that particular function so i can pass f inside it so please see our first approach that we are we are passing the complete form reference that is f inside this particular register now go to the component inside register function because you are passing parameter from there so take the argument as frm anything you can take now here i am doing console dot log console dot log and the form value is what we have the form value it is frm that's all save it and try to execute this particular program here i am putting mohan and the email i am putting here mohan at the rate at the rate gmail dot com and when when i am trying to submit this particular form we can see that we are getting this complete object this is the complete form object it 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 it, it contains a lot of information whether it's a dirty or not dirty pristine it is a one of the state of form if if we have if we have if we have changed the two dom element then it is touched whenever we have made any change in the field then it's a dirty whenever our field is uh, enabled or uh, that it is valid when there is some problem in validation that is it is invalid so these are the different states are there disabled enabled enabled is true because all our forms are enabled errors for now we don't have any form we do not have any errors for now and then touched yes we have touched because it is already dirty so first the state was was first the state was touched once you touch it and then you put something inside it then it will be dirty untouched for yes it is touched so it is not untouched valid true and it is a value you can see here now we have value here so exactly find out the our complete form value form dot value we can put here and let us go to our browser and let us put here mohan let us put here mohan and mohan at the rate gmail dot com and submit we can see here we are getting this particular object now do whatever you want to do with this particular form either push it in database or anywhere you, you can do it